Welcome to another Adventures with the Cons, and on this adventure, we're heading to Metcalf Bottoms Trail in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Yeah, we heard this trail is perfect for kids, and there's a little schoolhouse that was built in 1882 um, on this trail, and I think a little cemetery, so we're going to check it out and hike to the schoolhouse. So come along with us and see what Metcalf Bottoms Trail is all about. So we're going to head to the school. So when you come to Metcalf Bottoms Trail, there's going to be a picnic area down at the bottom where you're going to park. That's where you can have food, you can barbecue. I think I've seen a, a grill down where you park. And then there's a bathroom. So you want to do that before you head on to the trail. Um, that way you get all, all that stuff out and then you get to see the waterfall, and the, I mean the creek along the way. And, uh, and so now we're, we're heading up to the school. So this way to go to the Little Greenbrier School. And I guess we're gonna go up a hill. But nowhere near as bad as Clingman's Dome. So I wonder if in the 1800s if they had to go horseback, horse buggying up the this this path. Maybe I wonder where the people live. Yeah. We always wonder where the houses are. Oh, it looks like there's a stairwell. Oh wow! Missed that. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what it goes up to. You want to check it out? Might as well. Pump We're going check. adventuring. Ooh, spider web. That's a big adventure. That was an 1800 spider web. Uh, Nothing like playing in the woods. Let's not get lost. I don't think anything's up here. It's Maybe bears. Oh yeah, let's not go too far. I don't think there's much up here. Because we're turning around. Yeah. So we're back on the path. Definitely, I mean, there's a lot of people in the picnic area and lots of parking and stuff, but this is pretty secluded, a nice, quiet hike. You know? We came up to a fence. Yeah. Yeah, because checking out some of the other trails, definitely crowded. 
And coming up, coming past Laurel Falls, there's a lot of cars parked. So we know that's pretty busy. Well, even hiking on Laurel Falls too. You know, you're always gonna have people around you. But so far, no one up here. We get it all to ourselves. Yeah. Maybe it's right there. Or is that just the gate? came to a fence not quite sure is what's underneath there but I guess the trail is this way uh oh downhill We found roots. Yeah. Kids always love climbing on those roots, huh? And not to say this, but mommy likes to trip over them too. I have been known to do that. That's why I can't talk and walk at the same time. If you haven't seen our Bear Creek video I'll, pl I'll put a link to the corner and you can go watch you can go watch me trip like three times in that video <laughs> oh, i didn't want to say that <laughs> oh mud go to the side so if you come on the trail here you might come to some mud so always be careful make sure you wear good shoes so we've come to some downhill parts of the trail more roots with that but it's always good to go downhill but you just got to be careful not to speed down the trail with all these roots but definitely it, it's a nice trail definitely secluded and you're not getting the sun because you're in the trees oh look at that And I believe the river is that way, if you can hear the sound of the river. We might even come to it. So there's mud here, but Pumpkin wants to go this way. She thinks it loops around the mud. It does, okay. It did good. Went around the mud. Didn't have to go through it. This is a nice hike for the kids. Yeah. As long as there's a lot of shade. It helps keep the energy going. girls like to touch water wherever they see it. <laughs> Looks like at the picnic area. It's like tons of picnic tables and we packed a lunch and a lot of people waiting. So maybe they can wait later. <laughs> a lot of people were getting in the water too to swim along the rocks. The people oh. people were getting in the water so oh, okay. I, I think that's what's nice about Tennessee when you go to, into the Smoky Mountains is you're able to get in the water. I mean, obviously be careful, but you're able to get in the water oh, yeah, and, yeah. and, you know, play in the Smoky Mountain water. Yeah, this is nice. We need, like, hiking sandals, too. We love our hiking shoes, but hiking sandals would be good to, like, be able to just dip in. Mm -hmm. Come on, pumpkin.
So we come to the log across the river. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, well, this is pretty easy. Now let's see if the girls can make it. What does this remind you of? I'm thinking. A hike two years ago here, which we do not have on video because I don't know if we want to go back. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. It was Porter's Creek okay. Trail. It's actually nice in the beginning. And then you come to a bridge like that, but it's over huge falls. And then it gets into like really a rugged trail. I don't um, think we ever saw the waterfall on that one. I don't know, it got a little scary at the top, but it was over huge falls. So that bridge just brought back memories. <laughs> but that was like an easy bridge to get across. Yeah, that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. The other one, if I'm not mistaken. If you're afraid of heights, the other one may not be for you. Uh, ah. If I'm not mistaken, that bridge was really old and crackly. We didn't know if it was gonna withhold us going across. And we even ran into like a hiker who doesn't ever see many people on that side of the bridge, you know? So we're like, what did we get ourselves into? So I don't think we'll take the kids back. If we do, we'll do a partial hike because it was cool. There were lots of old cabins and a cemetery. I'm going to stop so I don't trip. <laughs> a cemetery there. It's really easy before all that. So it was cool. We might do a partial hike, but nothing past the bridge. on the nether bridge. Uh -huh. Wow, this trail is... I see the schoolhouse! Oh, here's I think we've come to the schoolhouse. Now be careful going across this log. Oh, it just says to go back. So it's about 0.6 miles here. So this, <laughs> this schoolhouse was built in 1882 and they used it until 1935 as a one room schoolhouse with many different ages. And then they also, I read they also used it as a church. And so I think there's a graveyard as well. So we can well, check that'd be it out. interesting to see. Now a side note, you can actually drive up to this schoolhouse yeah. instead of doing the trail. How do you do that? The road that I was walking across you drive through and then you go up the mountain because oh. if this was a school I don't know if I don't see the parking area though I just saw there it is oh well if you want adventure if you want to be like adventures with the cons you do the trail you want to take the scenic route
Yeah, this is their desk and they put their books. Those are the first row. Yeah. We should have brought some chalk. There's some, we could have signed it and came back years later, like 1978. There's a witch in here. 1964. Well, that's cool. So now that you saw the school and the cemetery, what did y'all think? I liked it. That was pretty cool to see like the school when it was like in the Here, turn around and tell Daddy what you were saying. I loved it. I liked how it was like an old school and how all the other kids, like, went back then, got to go to school in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a neat little trail. Instead of hiking to a waterfall, you hike to a schoolhouse. Education was big back then. Yeah. And it was cute. There were other little kids in the schoolhouse, so they were all playing school. <laughs> and you were a kid. I was a kid. We're all kids at heart. Well, there you have it. Metcalf Bottoms Trail. What a great hike we had. We got to see the Little Green Briar Schoolhouse, which was also a church, and we got to see the cemetery. Definitely a hike that if you can come by and do, if you're in the Gatlinburg, Tennessee area, it's well worth it. Your kids are gonna love it. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button. But while you're at it, hit the notification bell because when we upload a new video, you get notified. Thanks for stopping by. We look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.